I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Quick video from the bench for you folks today, uh, but super, super useful tip. When you've got a damaged motor or ESC, a lot of times it can be hard to tell whether the motor or the ESC is damaged. Now, sometimes it's obvious. <laughs> but typically the way it works is that you just swap the motor and then if the motor still doesn't spin right, you assume it's the ESC. But I'm going to show you an easier way to figure it out. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your multimeter and you're going to put it into continuity test mode. That's this little icon here that means, uh, I guess, is a speaker making noise. So we're in continuity test mode and it means when we touch the probes together, we'll get a beep. When we get electrical connectivity, we'll get a beep. Now the way an ESC works is the electricity comes in the main power lead and it goes to these guys here and these are called MOSFETs. And a MOSFET is like a little electrical switch that switches the flow of electricity on and off. Uh, and basically the MOSFET switching on and off is what drives the motors and drives, lets electricity flow out the individual motor pads and make the motor spin. And in general, you should not have electrical connectivity when these MOSFETs are powered down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test for connectivity between the positive pad and the motor outputs and the negative pad and the motor outputs. And this is on the bench because, well, it's it's pretty obvious that this ESC is fried, right? But you could do this with the ESC still mounted in the quad. You could just use your XT60 plug. So I'm gonna test the positive and I'm gonna go and test each of the motor pads for connectivity. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the negative side, test each of the motor outputs and ah, sure enough, this motor output has continuity to negative. And it's, look, it's, <laughs> it's pretty obvious that we have a damaged FET here. You can literally see that the FET has exploded. That's not the point. The point is that if you test your ESC and you have continuity between the negative or the positive and any of the motor outputs, you definitely have a damaged FET. Now, this is not a 100% reliable way of troubleshooting because so usually when the FETs fail, they fail sh short circuit and you'll get continuity through the FET. It is possible for like a trace to burn out and it to fail open and not have continuity. So just because you don't have continuity doesn't mean that the ESC is good. But if you do have continuity, it means that the ESC is fried. I want to thank Leave You Preda, Leave You FPV. He has an amazing YouTube channel where he goes over really in, I mean, he's a good pilot, but he also does really in-depth uh circuit circuit testing and circuit repair. And he actually has a video where he shows how to desolder and replace the damaged FET. Me, I'm just screwed. This thing, it's trash. No, I have nothing to show you guys on camera. <laughs> it's trash. But if you have a hot air station and if you're good with soldering, you can actually fix this thing and get it back up in the air again. So I'm gonna link his video down in the video description. Thanks to leave you for showing me this tip of how to test a 4-in-1 ESC or I guess any ESC. Yep, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying. Bye, bye-bye. <laughs>